Good day folks, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I'm going to revisit a little utility I showed you a while back. It's from a gentleman. I'm going to see if I get his name right again. I should have watched my first video so I got the pronunciation the same way, but it's Puriya Jamshidi. The first time I did it, he said I pronounced it right. So if I did the same thing, <laughs> I'll be good. So he's got a couple of utilities on his uh, GitHub site. And one of the ones I like is this TC, TC ping, not TCP ping with two P's, one P. So TC ping. And you basically download it, uh, unzip it, and you're good to go. So here it is in a command prompt. So I'm just going to stretch this out a bit. There you go. And when you type TC ping, it shows you all your options, which is great. Uh, I'm going to just do the basics, right? So I've got TCP, TC ping. I'm going to get this wrong all day. 10.44, 10.1, my router. And I'm going to do port 80. And if I hit enter, or off it goes to the races, and it provides um, response times for a TCP connection. So it actually does a SYN and it actually tears it down correctly and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to go through the whole Wireshark part of it because we all know packet level response time is different than application response time. So they're not going to be the same. It doesn't matter. I'm just using this as a baseline. I'm just going to break out of this control C because if you use the same application for the same test, then there's some validity to it. But if you keep changing your apps and your tools every time you do a test, then you're going to be all over the map, right? At the end of the test, it gives me the statistics summary. But what he did do on this version is he added a couple of things. And the big one is the CSV option. That's what I asked for. And that's kind of cool. So one thing is you notice that uh, when I did my TC ping, it just kind of kept running. It didn't stop. I had to do a control C to, to break out of it. And that's the default and that's fine. So if I bring up my last command here, TC ping, 10.44, 10.180. I'm going to add to it. This is how I like to test before I commit to writing things to a file. I want to stop it after a certain amount of pings or probes. So I'm going to do this dash C. That's what this is right here. Dash C. And I don't know. We'll do 10, for example. Enter. And off it goes to the races. So you should always build on these options before you actually put this in a batch file or start writing files. Start writing to a file. Because it's bad it's bad practice and it's always a bummer to find out later on you didn't quite get what you thought. So the dash C10 worked perfectly. So I'm going to type TC ping again. So we like this. I also want to do this dash uppercase D. I'm going to do that one as well. I want to show you what that looks like. So that provides an actual time stamp. The default, the interval is every second, by the way. You can change that as well with this dash I, but we're not going to do that. We're going to leave it alone, keep it simple. So this should go 10 times. There we are. And the last thing I want to do is the actual CSV option. So I've got all this. I'm going to build on it. So I'm going to do a double dash CSV. And I'm just going to call this, um, you know what? I'll use the IP address of the host that I am actually testing. There you go, like that. So right now, there's no other files in that folder. And I'll show you when it's done what it does. So one thing when you write to the CSV file is that screen output is gone, right? And that's another reason why I like to build on those options before I write to a, an actual file. If I do a directory, you'll see that there are two files here. There's this stats CSV and there's an actual, again, the host IP.csv. So if I was to pull up this stats file, I'll show you what that looks like in Excel. It's basically the, the statistics results that you saw a moment ago. And it says CSV, but it's, it's a text file, right? So that's the actual end results for that time period, which is good. And then the other one, 10.44, and I hit enter. This guy shows me the actual TC ping requests and time results for all of them. Uh, don't let this throw you off, TCP underscore CON. A few people have asked me, is that connection? No, it's like, it's like a counter for the number of probes. I did 10, so you can see 1 through 10, it's done. And again, there's the time. So if you wanted to graph this, for example, which is why we like to put this in CSV, insert, I'll just do a simple line graph, there it is. And it's Excel, you can make it look pretty, put titles, all that other good stuff, and you're off to the races. So good old TC ping, 
I'm going to put the URL in the actual article. Enjoy. Have a good day. Happy hunting.